All right, checkers, we're going to do another drawing today. Yeah. What are we going to draw, dude? Hippo All right. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. Cheese in it, man. <laughs> We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. Hopefully you got a marker and piece of paper. You can also use a pencil if you don't want to use a marker. Right, dude? Mm -hmm. And when we go too fast, I can always what? Pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video, catch up, and then start it again. Be sure to also stay till the very end of the video where we're going to open a bunch of their mail, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to open a ton of mail, and we're going to also show the art. So be sure to stay for the whole thing, right? Yeah. All right, dude, let's... Let's draw our blue jay. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to draw it with our paper Ooh, vertical. vertical. Yes, <laughs> vertical. And we're going to draw the whole bird and we're going to draw them on a stick. We're going to draw the whole thing and then we're going to color it. Cool? Yeah. All right. So first step, we're going to draw his eye. And it's going to be up here at the top left. We usually always start with the eye because I think that's the important thing to start with. So it's just going to be a circle. And then we're going to do what we always do, draw another circle inside. And then leave that white and then color the rest. Cool? Mm -hmm. We're done. No. Okay. <laughs> we drew an eye. Sure, keep we're going. We're drawing an eye. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to draw a little sideways V right next to his eye. And then we're going to come back to a, his beak because the important thing about the beak is that we don't draw it too big or too small. So we're going to draw the rest of his body and the rest of his head, and then we'll come back and draw his la the, that last. Okay? <laughs> So we're going to draw the top of his head, okay, and it kind of goes up like that because he's got a kind of a rooster tail in the back. I don't know. That's probably not what it's called, but he's got a little little hairdo in the back. So then we're going to draw his body and his neck. So we're going to draw, and this is kind of an S curve, so it comes down, and then it's going to come like this, like that. Good job. It's going to be a big one. I like it. Okay. So, oops, I'm going to draw this just a little bit so it has a little return just like yours. And then we're going to come back up. We're going to draw some zigzag lines right here for his hairdo. Whoa. It's got a punk rock hairstyle. And we're going to come down and finish it. And it's going to come down here into his neck. Okay, now we can do his beak. So I said we were gonna draw the whole thing, but we kinda know, mine's gonna be a little smaller than yours, yours is gonna be a little bit bigger. So you can draw his uh, beak a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna do a little hook like that. And I probably put a little too much hook. They're not eagles. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the line that comes out. And then we'll draw the bottom part. And the bottom part comes under just a little bit. So it doesn't come all the way out to the to the top part. Yes, good job, dude. It looks good. Okay, now we're gonna draw his little design on his face. <laughs> well, bless you. <laughs> and then we're gonna come, so we're gonna do a little more of that same line that we did up here, kind of an S line. Then we can kind of do a little zigzag here. It can be whatever you want it to look like. And then we'll come back down like that. Well, backwards J. Good job, you did it. Okay, now let's do the back of his body. So we're gonna come right here. So imagine his head is right there and then his cut of his hairstyle is right here. So we're gonna come down like that, to the back of his head. And then we're gonna draw a big curved line that comes out like this. And then we're gonna finish the rest of his body. His, we'll do his wings and then we'll come back. So let me see, we're really quick. So let's draw this line down here because you kind of, this line's a little bit different than mine. There you go, good job. Yours might look more like a chicken. <laughs> That's okay though. And then we're gonna do a big curved line that comes right, let me see, the curve line that comes right here, right about there, okay? Uh, yeah, right about there. So a big curved line that goes Roop. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I like it. So look at mine, and we'll practice. We'll do it again, but see how mine's kind of. It's also it's it's a little straight. Yours is kind of <laughs> <laughs> and kind of <laughs> down here too. <laughs> That's all right, dude. We're practicing, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's draw his wing. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw a line that comes uh, down. 
and it's going to be a big curved line and we're going to come and end about right here so we're going to do a big curved line and that one is kind of big and curved <laughs> Good, and then we'll come back up. We're gonna come back up like this, and then come right like that. Good, <laughs> I like it, man. It's looking awesome. It's looking like a chicken. It's kind of, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> no, it's perfect, dude. All right, so it's okay if we're if yours looks a little different than mine, huh? Mm -hmm. What's the most important thing while we're drawing? To have fun. Yes, have fun. Okay, so do you see this? I drew another line right next to that one. And it kind of gets thicker as it comes out down here to the bottom. Yes, good job. And then we're just going to do a little zigzag line that comes out and then back in. Good. And then let's bring this guy back in. That's for his other wing. And then we can do a zigzag line that comes out and back in. So we got both his wings. Is that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do another little line just right there. And that's for his back, for that back wing. Good, it looks awesome. I like it, man. <laughs> okay, let's do a little curved line right here. And then we'll do another curve right here on the other, on his other wing. I can't wait to color this because he's gonna look really awesome. We're gonna do some blending. <laughs> All right, so we can do some zigzag lines right here. They got some cool, pa cool pattern on there wings good job dude awesome okay let's finish him let's do we're gonna do his uh his, so kind of his he's got feathers that kind of come down his leg a little bit good and then we'll bring this line up here good and then we got to do his tail so let's bring his tail out of his wing and bring it out kind of like that, curving up a little, just a little bit. And then we'll bring this line right here, curving down. I might run out of room, but let's see if we can make it work. Then we're going to curve this line. We can kind of do a little zigzag and then a curve here. A little, couple of little zigzags in there. Yes, good job. I like your bird, man. He's so awesome. Okay, then let's get, he's going to have a pattern here on this side. A little zigzag line and a zigzag line on this side. Good. Awesome. And then a little one on this side. Good, dude. <laughs> All right, let's do that. We're going to do the branch that well, let's do is we'll do one little line that comes down. This is going to be for his leg and I did two lines next to each other. So it's a little thicker and we're going to do another one right here. Okay. That's for his back leg. There's some overlapping. So then we're going to draw the, the stick that he's going to be sitting on. Okay. So we're going to bring it's kind of it can be a wavy kind of wavy line bumpy line and we're going to stop here. Imagine it going through his body and then coming out here and do it kind of coming off to the side. Good. And then let's come back down here and we'll do another branch or another line right next to it so the branch has some thickness. And then I'm going to bring this one off this way. Oh, I like how swirly, <laughs> wavy you made it. And then come off, and then we're going to make the branch kind of branch off. Good job. Oh, you yeah, went all well, the way. You know what? That's totally fine. You're going to bring, you can bring another line this way. Okay. So bring another line off the side, and you can come up there. And then I'm going to do kind of what you did. And I'm going to finish the branch like this. Good job. All right, awesome. Okay, now let's come down here. We're gonna make him grabbing onto this branch. So I'm gonna bring his legs down like this. What are you laughing at? Oh, <laughs> oh your branch? Yeah. I like it. 
It looks like it's an awesome branch. <laughs> okay, so see how I brought them down to touch? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna, right at the end, I'm gonna bring a little line this way. Good. And then this is gonna be his, his back toe that's grabbing onto it. Got it. Good job. Okay, and then you can wrap it so that, kind of bring it back so he's really grabbing onto the branch. There you go. He's just not like, just laying his feet out. Yeah. His legs on it, it'll just, <laughs> a little fall backwards and whoa! Yeah, he's gotta be hanging onto it so he doesn't fall off. So, and then I brought his other toe that's wrapping around from the other, from the front. It's coming back around. And I'm going to put a little bump right here on the front, like that. Awesome, dude. Look at that. So let's do, well, we can put some little leaves on um, this branch so that it looks maybe like it's in the springtime, huh? It's a little too early for spring in Utah, right? Yeah. <laughs> we still got snow, but that's okay. We can dream. It's starting to get warmer. <laughs> So I'm going to put these little leaves and w the way that I'm doing it, sorry, I didn't really tell you how I was doing it. I'm doing a little line that comes out and then I put the leaf shape on that like that. Cool. And then you could put these wherever you want, wherever it looks cool. And we're gonna color all these leaves in, so it's gonna look really cool when we're done. Dude, that is looking so cool, and I really like how your blue jay looks, and he turned out awesome. <laughs> all right, dude, we gotta color him. You ready? <laughs> oh, you <Okay>. can. <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah. All right. Okay, we got all our colors ready, huh, checkers? And you got your scratch paper. We definitely, we're using oil pastels, and we'll leave a link where our art friends can buy these on Amazon. But um, and they're really cheap. We like using oil pastels because they're easy to blend with. They look really dark or bright when you put them down onto um, paper. And they're really fun to use, huh? Yeah. We love using oil pastels. So we'll leave a link where you can buy these. You can use crayons if you don't have oil pastels, but it's hard to blend crayons the same way that oil yeah, pastels. Yeah, I tried that with Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he had a beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. <laughs> All right, dude, you ready? So the first step we're going to do is we're going to use, we have a light blue. We also have dark blue. We have the green. We have a gray for his belly. We have white that we're going to use for blending. And we have black because we're going to do some cool things with the black. We're going to use black last and we're going to use this light blue first. Okay, so we're going to speed up a lot of this stuff, but we'll explain what we're doing. So we're going to okay. put our blue down and then we'll talk about all the places we put it. Okay. okay. All right, let's speed it up right now. All right, we got his head color. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna do his wings next, okay? Okay. All right. All right, dude, so we finished the wings and we actually jumped down to the tail, huh? Yeah. So we left, on the head, we left this spot white. We left this little design part right here white. This has got little feathers. That are white and then we've got the white right here and then we left these little the little tips on his uh, tail white all right you ready for the dark yeah okay so we're gonna use a little darker blue and we're just gonna do some shading we're gonna do a little shading on the back of his head right here then we're gonna do a little more shading right here under the white <laughs> just broke that's okay. Oil pastels are really soft, huh? Yeah. So if you use, if you kind of grab the oil pastel towards the tip and color that way, then it's a little harder to break them, but they break all the time. So don't feel bad if yours break, huh? Yeah. And you just keep them and we keep them. using them. Yeah. <laughs> you got a ton. And they're kind of nice to break anyways, because then you can share them. And I'm going to do dark around the bat, the bottom part of his wing right here and then I'm also gonna do dark blue right here in the top. 
top of his tail. That's some cool shading, huh? Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. All right, Kate, now let's do, we're gonna do a little bit of gray. So we're gonna switch and we, we're using a light gray and we're gonna do right around his belly at the top of his neck. We'll do a little bit and then we're going to uh, blend this in. So try not to push too hard and you could press uh, slightly harder towards the top up here around his neck. And then I'm gonna also do a little line of gray right under this wing so it looks like shading a little shadow from his wing cool you can put a little line right here awesome good so yeah right there kind of underneath his wing so it looks like a little shadow so right here good job now i'm going to come back up here and press a little harder on his beak And then I'm also going to do just a little bit of shading right here around his eye. I'm pulling the paper off? Yeah. Good. Good job. So we're going to make sure, yeah, and this is a clean white, but mine has some color on it. So that's what our scratch paper is for. You want to make sure that there's no extra colors on your colors white. All over it. Yeah. From my fingers. From your fingers. We want to make sure that you're not going to have like a red or pink that's on there from maybe blending some other color from a different drawing. Because when you put the white down to come blend the gray, you'll get a big streak of red or yellow. That's, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, that would be the last thing we want. When we were doing the Stormtrooper, I had yellow on it still. Mm-hmm. So then we're just put a layer of white on top of the gray and it's going to blend it and make it look really smooth. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, cool, man. So now we're gonna use black. No, no. Okay, you can use that one. I was gonna split in half for you. So we're gonna use black, and this is this is kind of a cool part. We're gonna add the rest of his design on his beak, or on his face. So I'm gonna put a little extra thick black line right by his beak. Then I'm gonna bring a line connect to his eye. And then we're going to connect through to the other side. Okay, okay got it? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a little extra black patch right here. And we can just kind of make it look like a cool design. And then I'm going to bring it down here, down his head. And it can kind of come up to just a little bit. Just a little bit. <coughs> cool. Does that look awesome? Yeah. That's a pretty cool. I really like Blue Jays and the designs that they have on their body. So now we're going to come down here. We can thicken up this line right here above the white. on his wings. Good job. Then we're gonna come back down here and I'm gonna thicken the line right here on his tail. Awesome. Okay, good job, man. Okay, now let's do the brown on the branch. So get your light brown, and we're just going to fill it in. We're going to fill it in solid, and then we'll get a darker brown, and we can do a little shading on Wait, is this a darker brown? That's a little bit darker. You could do a lighter brown, maybe like that. Good job. Okay, now i got a darker brown. You can use that one. And I'm just going to do a thin, dark 
uh, line of brown on the bottom side or the right side of the branch. So it looks like, and with oil pastels, so if you take off the paper and you need to do a really fine line, this side's kind of all mangled because we've been trying with it. If you flip it over, you got a nice sharp edge on this side and it's a little easier, slightly easier to get a thin line. So you go up and it will look like one side is shaded on this branch. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Kind of a neat little trick. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, now let's get the green and we're gonna do, let's do a light green. I think we got another one in there. There you go. And we're gonna put the light green down first on our leaves and then we'll come back with the dark green and do a little shading on the leaves. Okay, now let's get the dark okay. green. I think we got another one in there. There you go. And we're just going to add a little, just a small amount of green, dark green towards the base of the leaf. Just kind of at the bottom, the bottom of the leaf. Dude, good job, man. You finished your Blue Jay. It looks awesome. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> like, what would, What did we say the most important thing is when you're drawing? To have fun. Yes. Your Blue Jay looks a little bit different than mine, right? Yeah. But that's, that's totally fine. Than this. Yeah. He's got that's a little... His, yes, it's a little thinner up here. My, mine kind of has a chest and your kind of has a <laughs> belly. <laughs> but that's totally fine, right? Yeah. The most important thing really is to have fun mm -hmm. because it's okay. It's art and it's okay if it looks different, right? Yeah. Yes. We hope you guys had fun. We really do. And remember, if you ever find yourself getting frustrated, just take a little break and come back, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Should we open some mail? Yeah. We got a ton of mail and we're going to, we're going to open a bunch right now. Should okay. we do it? Yeah. All right. Let's put our stuff away and then we'll come back. All right, we got all our mail, huh? You ready yeah. to open all this stuff? Look at all that. We got a ton. So we're gonna, even though we're going to open a lot of mail, I don't think we're going to be able to open all of this. But we're going to speed through it. We'll get through it really quick. And if we don't open your mail, hopefully you won't feel too bad. But we are going to open it off camera, huh? And yeah. we're going we're gonna to actually, I think, take down all of the art that's on the back wall and replace yeah. it with all this new stuff. Yeah. Sound like a good idea? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So let's get opening this stuff. So this first one that we're gonna open is from Maddie from Arizona. That is one cool yeah. fish, huh? It's just I shark. Know, it's not, it's no, it's a killer whale, killer whale. huh? Mm -hmm. But it's got a bunch of rainbow stuff on it, huh? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Thanks, Maddie. You're awesome. This one is from Emma from Pennsylvania. Emma, that is one cool Christmas tree. We like it, huh? Chuckers. Mm -hmm. Yes, good job, Emma. And this. She sent us a letter. It says, Dear Art for Kids, thank you for the videos. Would you do My Little Pony for me from Emma? And she drew Benjamin, Emma, and Hannah on her letter. Cool, Emma. Thanks for sending that. Okay, this next one's from Gabriella from California. And she drew a really cool unicorn. That's awesome. And she wrote, Thank you, Art for Kids Hub, for making videos that I enjoy. You're welcome. And thanks for sending in this unicorn. <laughs> Super awesome. We got to show this to Hads, huh? She would yeah. love it. Thanks, mm -hmm. Gabriella. Okay, this one's from Shayna, and this is a Christmas drawing. It's really cool. It's, it's a picture of the nativity, huh? Mm -hmm. With baby Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she's got the wise men and the shepherds. Is that wise men and shepherds? Yeah. Wise men, shepherds, and an angel. Cute little angel in there, too. And she wrote a letter on the back. It says, Dear Robin Kids, I love your videos. I hope that you like my nativity. Yes, we do. We love it. Thank you, Shana, for sending this in. We're going to put this up on the back. We love we love Christmas and the nativity, huh? Yeah. Yes. All right, what's yours? Zachary is from Alabama. All right, what do you draw? Oh, is it, it's Freddie Fazbear. Yeah. <laughs> we don't play that game and we'll probably never, we probably won't ever draw anything from Freddy Five Nights, but that is an awesome drawing. Good job, Zachary. That is really cool. Okay, this next one's from Melody and she is from California. She sent us three drawings. Oh, look at that. It's like a gingerbread with a Santa hat. <laughs> it says, and it says, catch me if you can. That's awesome. Melody, good job. 
she drew some hot chocolate. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. I like that hot chocolate. That's my favorite. And then she also drew, oh, that's cool, a snow globe with a fireplace. Oh, that's a really cool, Melody. Thanks for sending that. Nora from uh, Nevada. Oh, wow, koi fish. Wow, let me see. I gotta see this. Whoa, that is way cool. You had it upside down, dude. Oh, <laughs> Nora's from Reno, Nevada. That looks so awesome. Check out that koi fish. She did a great job on that. I really like the coloring too, huh? Mm -hmm. And this one Did is... she draw another one? No, I think it was like her... Oh, from her sister or a uh, friend. It could be a sibling or a friend. And it's from uh, Catalina. And she drew another koi fish too, huh? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I like that. Koi fish is still one of my favorite drawings that we've done, huh? Yeah. You like it too? Mm -hmm. Jasmine drew a picture of gumball. Check that out. <laughs> she also wrote a letter. She said, hi guys, I have actually haven't been watching a lot of your videos, but you are so fun and creative. I hope you have a happy new year, Christmas. Sincerely, Jasmine. Thanks, Jasmine, even though you haven't been watching all of our videos. <laughs> we really like this picture of Gumball. Thanks for sending it in. You're awesome. Mitchell, you want to read it? Uh, who is it? It's a picture of Sonic. You want to read the letter on the back? Yeah. Dear Rob Chuggers, can you please put my art on your wall so when I look at your videos, I... <laughs> I can see my art in the back. <laughs> yes, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else did he say? I love your videos and every, and every day when I get home from school, I watch them. And on the, the good night... And on the good side, <laughs> you're funny. You're funny. <laughs> Thanks for sending that in, Mitchell. That is an awesome drawing of Sonic. We'll put it on the back wall so you can see it. Okay, this next one's from Casey from California. And Casey sent us a letter also and a picture of a mermaid. Check that out. She's six years old and she drew that. That is so cool, dude. <laughs> Look at that. You in love? Yeah! <laughs> That is really cool, Casey. And she wrote a letter. It says, Dear Art for Kids, ever since I watched my first video of yours, I said, Wow, this is the best. I've been doing really well in this program. I've made 12 drawings. Think, uh, thanks to you. Keep drawing from Casey. Thanks, Casey, for sending that in. That's an awesome drawing of the Little Mermaid. That's uh, really cool. Where's yours from? Kay Garrett from yeah. California. And what'd they send us? I'll open this, or you want to open this, and I'll read the letter. Yeah. Okay, I'll read the letter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, thank you so much for teaching me to draw. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is from Caitlin, and she wrote, thank you so much for teaching me to draw. My first drawing I saw you and Hads draw was a hamster. I did a really good job. Even my mom said so. I, draw, I drew my favorite animal and pet. You are such a great dad, and Chuckers and Hads are great artists. Thanks, Caitlin. What'd she send us? Oh, is that her first drawing? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Caitlin, you're such a good artist. That is a really cool hamster. She said, my hamster really looks, <laughs> my hamster in real life looks like this. <laughs> that is one cute little hamster. And what's this other drawing she drew? Um... Picture of a little girl and what I look like in real life. She has, she has blonde hair. And she looks really pretty, huh? <laughs> we love it. That is such a good job. Caitlin, we'll hang this up with the rest of the art. Oh, and she also did a fox. That is so cool, too. Look, check that out. You're such an awesome artist, Caitlin. Good job. Okay, let's do two more, and then we'll, we'll uh, save the rest for another video, okay? And this one's from Sophie, and she's from Colorado. And... She drew a picture of a wolf. Check that out. Sophie, you're an awesome artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and she also wrote us, I think she wrote us an awesome letter. Oh, and a turtle. She sent us a picture of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Check it out. You can see the letter in the background. And her letter says, Dear Art for Kids Hub, I love your videos. I watch them as much as possible. I'm nine years old, almost 10, and I live in Fort Collins, Colorado. 
It would be cool if you did a gymnast series. Your art friend, Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. And we are. We're, we've gotten a lot of requests for a gymnast. And so we're going to be doing that very soon. Stay tuned. All right. So this last one is from Eliza. And she wrote, go ahead and hold that up while I read. She wrote, Dear Art for Kids, I love your channel. Me and my brother love to draw. I hope you like the picture of Mrs. Claus. Merry Christmas. You are an awesome drawer and your kids are so awesome. Your kids are also great drawers like you, dear fr uh, your friend, Eliza. Thanks, Eliza, for sending that. That is a really cool drawing of Mrs. Claus. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> yes, she did such a good job. Check that out. That is way cool. That's all the mail we're going to open today. Is that okay, dude? Yeah. So we still got a ton more to open. So don't feel bad if we haven't gotten to it yet. We will soon. And for our other art friends, how do they mail us art? What's our address? Um, P.O. Box 927 Pleasant Grove, Utah 84062. Yes, 84062. We'll put it right here on the screen so it's easy to copy down. And we'll also leave it in the description below this video on YouTube. Cool? Yeah. All right, should we show the rest of their art, the ones that they've emailed into us? Yeah. All right, let's do it right now.